Shalom, shalom, it's Brother Kashikwala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Achakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, so back at you again with another lesson. In this lesson, um, I got, well, I got this word entitlement up. All right. This word entitlement, and this is the Google definition of it. I'm going to go ahead and read the noun. It says, the fact of having a right to something. It says, the amount It says the amount to which a person has a right. The belief that one is inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. Okay, the reason I want to focus on this word entitlement, or you feel like you're entitled to something, is because, God damn it, you're not. All right? So... Just because the quote, you know, the doors are quote unquote shut to the to the GMS, you know, camps, doesn't mean the ones who are in GMS are should have the feeling of entitlement. As a matter of fact, it makes me think of this uh, um, this one scripture. If I can, uh, man, it just slipped my mind. That man, it just slipped my mind just a second ago. Uh, no worries. All right, but uh, don't have a sense of Oh, I'm good. Um, I I can I can lay back, I can chill. You know what I'm saying? I can, you know, whatever. Don't have that sense of entitlement about you, about yourself, because ain't nobody safe. That's that's the real. That's how it is. Ain't nobody safe. Ain't no ain't nobody been saved. Ain't nobody been beamed up yet. Okay, so that's the world word entitlement. In the um, the Google definition of it, in the word entitled, in the online etymology, I'm just going to get to the point of the matter. It says to give someone a title. It says give a title or name to. All right. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. We don't call ourselves the elect. We don't know who the elect are. Okay. We pray for the elect. We don't call ourselves that. I don't sit here and tell the brothers like, yeah, you know, I'm number um uh, 94,000 of the 144,000 No, I don't say that I don't know I don't, I'm, not, I'm not entitling myself <clears throat> to, to that specific name I'm not giving myself the name of an elect I'm not giving myself the, um, the phrase of Oh, I'm good because I'm in the I, I, I'm in the camp and not on the outside it, no, there's 11th hour Israelites who are going to get this thing. A dude could, the Lord can bring in a guy who was selling rocks just yesterday, forgive him, and get him up on a chariot. And next thing you know, he part of the, the 144 because he believed. Okay? There's no telling what the Lord, the Lord can do whatever he wants. All right? So just because you're in the camp doesn't give you a sense of entitlement. And the scripture just came back to my uh, to my mind. Call Allah Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's in the book of Ecclesiasticus. So, like, you bear with me. Oh man, oh man, that's Satan. It just slipped my mind again. Okay, it just slipped my mind again. Don't. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Don't give yourself a sense of entitlement because you you're not secure. Okay, you're not secure. All right. So I'm gonna read the the word entitlement one more time. It says the fact of of having a right of something, all right? The amount to which a person has a right, the belief that one is inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment. Call all you help by Again, the scripture just came up because I did want to bring this out because I'm not sitting here saying that anybody is entitling themselves to be quote unquote I'm good because I'm in the GMS camp. I haven't heard it from anybody. I haven't really seen the demeanor from anybody, and and it's I'm speaking first and foremost for myself in in my perspective, in respective camp. I haven't seen that energy coming, uh, you know, coming from anybody. But scriptures say admonish, right? So I think it's in uh, Sirach. I want to say it's a rock 19. Let's see if it's if, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, it's a rock 19 and 13. It says, admonish a friend. It may be he hath not done it. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that anyone's entitling themselves of saying, I'm good. 
because the apostle Tahar said, "Oh, no one in the camp." Uh, no one on the outside is coming in because you know, air, you know, there's some weirdos out there or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Just paraphrasing. I'm good. I, I don't have to worry. No, bro. Yeah, you do. So this is why I'm admonishing. Ain't nobody safe. I'm admonishing a, a sincere brother who, would, which would be a friend. All right. He may have not had this action, this thought, this thought process, or any type of anything of entitlement, but. It still needs to be addressed Because ain't nobody safe It says And if he have done it That he do it no more So if you do have a sense Or just that ounce of pride That seeped in Thinking Oh whew, shoo, You could You know Swipe the sweat off your forehead Like Woo I'm in the camp already I'm good You know No Don't have that Don't have that attitude about yourself The attitude should be like Well damn Can nobody come in that means if if there's an exit, you're not coming back. Okay? Simple as that. If you, if you get excluded out of the body because of some mishap that you've been admonished or rebuked or reproved or corrected about over and over again, and they decide to go ahead and give you the boot, there is no reconciling at this moment. Okay? I'm not saying never. You never know. The spirit can land on the apostle heart to be like, okay. But you know Things don't simmer down Who knows But at this moment If you get kicked out I don't see I don't see a re-entry I don't So that should give you Not a sense of entitlement But a sense of Damn If you're on a basketball team Or a football team I don't want to lose my position Okay I don't want to get cut from the team That's what you should be feeling right now Therefore you should be putting in Some hardcore work so verse 14, admonish thy friend. It may be he have not said it. And if he have, and if he have, that he speak it not again. That's all I'm doing. I'm admonishing. It's almost making this video as a preventative measure of not having this sense of entitlement. Believing that you're inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. Stop, bro. You didn't get on a cross. You didn't give your life for uh the entire nation of Israel. You didn't do that. Okay, you didn't. All right, let's just be 100 about it. So stop. You don't have, you don't deserve, and we don't deserve anything at the end of the day. We don't. We are given, we just gave a chance. We're, we've been given a chance to prove that we are deserving, but we're not. Des I don't, I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, I deserve to be on a chariot. That is the absolute most wrong spirit to be in. I'm not giving myself a title of an elect because I don't know. And nobody else should be like that as well. Don't give yourself that entitlement. All right. <clears throat> this is Philippians chapter two. I don't want Philippians two. This is Philippians chapter three. Let's see. Let's see. If y'all hear something in the background, it's my pup. He's eating a bone. Philippians chapter three and 12. It says not as. Yep, not as though I had I had already attained, either were already perfect. Okay, this is Paul. Look, I'm not sitting here. He's I'm not sitting here telling you that I've I, I've already attained, meaning obtained a certain level of perfection, like he's saying right here, or been beamed up on a chariot. Either were already perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm striving to be perfect, like how I I said, be perfect like my Father is in heaven. How do you strive to be perfect? How do you gain perfection by going through your experiences and learning from your mistakes? So if you're making mistakes, that means you're not perfect. The scriptures say in Sirach 17 chapter, repent and offend less. Okay, meaning turn back from what that wicked thing that you did and offend less. Meaning don't do it anymore. That's how you get perfection. Now he's saying. I'm not saying that I'm already perfect because I'm going to make the mistakes, but I'm going to try to alleviate it as far as I go into this, um, into this ministry, into this walk of mine. All right. So that gives you, that should right there, give you no sense of entitlement. It says, but I follow after. Okay. If you're following after something, you're not entitled. The person you're following is entitled. They have a title. <laughs> We're following after Yahweh Shai. He's entitled. He has, he's worthy to be to be in the position that he's in and he's obtained it uh, he's attained it and obtained it all right he says if that i may apprehend that if that i may apprehend that for which 
I also am apprehended in Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So he's like, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to be. So therefore, I follow after Yahweh Shai, so I may be apprehended. Okay? So I may be apprehended. Let's see what apprehended means. <clears throat> the word apprehend is a katalambeno. Katalambeno. Let's see what Esau says. Strong's G, 2638, Catalambano. Okay. Catalambano. Catalambano, and it means to lay hold of. We have not been laid hold of yet. What? Who was laid? Habakkuk was laid hold of and beamed up in a chariot and dropped down to uh, to Daniel and then back off to where he was. That's being taken or being laid hold. I haven't, I'm pretty sure I haven't, that's haven't happened to me or any other brother that I've been around. Okay, it says to lay hold of uh, so as to make to make one's own to obtain attain to to make one's own to take into oneself app uh, appropriate. Okay, it says to take one's own to what it looks like to me. We're still we're still fatherless children. You if you catch my drift, according to Exodus, the 22nd chapter, flick not the fatherless child or the widow. Why? Because of Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, the verse one, where it says, mm, I'm going to cast them out of my sight. I gave you Moses. I gave you Samuel. You still don't want to regard those two and, and revere those two that I set up. Then guess what? I, I cast you out of my sight. I don't want nothing to do with you, Israel. So that looks like we're a fatherless child, uh, child right now. OK, he did send Yahweh Shai back to be our, uh, our intercessor, intercessor. But right now, look, we're not anybody's right now we haven't been bought back all right the scripture said we're bought with a price and when you go to the cursings no man shall buy you but yahweh shai yahweh shai is gonna buy us back that's why you have in isaiah the 35th chapter i think the 10th verse where it says the ransom of the lord when you go into the ransom that's something that you take back that you buy back and the in it and it refers to the ransomed as the israelites we are the ransomed so we're not owned yet because nobody has came back and bought us back. So can you sit here and say that you've been attained and that you have a sense of, of entitlement because nobody can come into GMS anymore? No, you're not safe either, playboy. So don't have that type of uh, feeling about yourself. Verse 13, brother, and I count not myself to have apprehended. There you go. That's humility right there. I've count not myself to be apprehended. I have not been beamed up by a chariot. I am not. I don't know if I'm a part of the elect. I am still pushing, trying to get out of here and bring this Edomite rulership down via Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's words, just like y'all. I'm doing the same thing. Ain't nobody been beamed up yet. There, in this time, day and age, there is no uh, perf perfectness like an Enoch or an Elijah, okay? It's not happening, all right? Not even a Job. Job was perfect, okay? But he didn't, Job didn't even get beamed, all right? So it says, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. If we're still reaching forth for something, we do not have a sense of entitlement. We are working for something, like the scriptures say, Labor in order to enter into that rest. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Salakia, of the high calling of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. First Corinthians 8 and 2. And if any man think he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. I wanted to bring that out because if you think you all f f fine and dandy because a certain decree went out and you're still in the midst of the body think again okay think again you shouldn't have taken that i'm not saying you any brother has but if the thought an inkling of the thought came to mind a minuscule thought or even if you thought about it and it went away it was a very diminutive thought meaning diminutive very quick short didn't last long a very diminutive thought in your mind about entitlement don't let that thought come back again okay because if you think that then oh no 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 you know nothing yet as he ought to know you know nothing okay if you're feeling that way you know nothing you can almost tell a 
a dude, have you not read? Like yeah, what Shai said, have you not read? You ain't read, bro. We are not apprehended, attained yet. We don't own. We're not own. Uh, no one owns us yet. I'm not. Esau don't own us. Okay, he don't. I'm gonna say that. I'm not giving him no props. We're just in his kingdom under his rules. He will claim that he owns you, but no. We are ultimately owned by Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, and he's going to come and collect his ransom. But until then, we're not entitled. We haven't got no crown on our head. We haven't been. We haven't entered into a chariot. Nothing. We haven't looked down from a chariot and saw the, the um, the America being destroyed. We haven't seen that. All right. So we are not entitled to anything. We don't deserve anything. We're trying to. We're trying to receive a privilege and a special treatment. That's what we're trying to do. All right. So if you had that thought, get it out your mind. Pray fast. Do what you need to do. Okay. I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS Atlanta Church. Until next time, Shalom.